Hi, I'm Isla and today I'm going to be talking you through the Laura Ashley Home Decoration Catalogue from 1985. I have made a previous video um, on the 1983 catalogue, so if you want to watch that, I will link it in the description box. If you enjoy these videos, please think about hitting the like and subscribe button so that I know to make more of them. So let's get into it. If I open up the first page, there's lots of the room sets. I think they got accused on the year before's catalogue um, for having very grand room sets. So they've tried to scale it back here and show kind of lots of variety. So they've even got something quite contemporary here. They've got a beach hut, a Welsh cottage, and then down here they've got a house in Long Island, a 19th century house. So they were um, definitely appealing to the American market. The bedroom, which is just a vine with all of the different scale prints. And they were so clever making all these different scales and making them work all together like that. Even the borders, a different print, but everything sort of tied in together. And another thing that they were so good at is these sort of staged um, sets of, of swatches and things. and. They, they created a very sort of painterly scene with painterly pigments at the artist studio. It's all very sumptuously done. Um, and the Labrador sitting with his own Laura Ashley napkin at breakfast is brilliant. Um, and they've got some great sort of staged people in this um, catalogue issue. Uh, the little boy with his train set on the table is definitely unique. Um, but they told that story really well through all of the imagery. I love the garden pavilion. Oh, wouldn't that just make the most incredible wedding? Very small wedding. <laughs> um, they did. They did a very nice thing, which is I think they offered lots of different weights of fabrics, so you could actually buy a lighter weight and make your own balance for the bed, which is something that's difficult to find now. Um, so they were quite unique in that respect. Um, this candy stripe wallpaper is called Brighton Rock, which I think is so sweet. This just seems very off brand. So we're going to skip past that because I don't like it at all. Um, a billiard scene, which is very grand. Definitely don't think many people have those. Gorgeous tester. Love that. The cherubs holding the wallpaper swatches are brilliant. Very bucolic, elaborate picnic scene. And the sweetest things, they wrap the butter in the wallpaper and also the little jam, jam jar. It was so thoughtfully put together. I think we've got used to seeing this kind of thing from really beautiful publications like World of Interiors, but you know, there's just so much thought that's gone into these. I had this wallpaper um, as a little girl in my bedroom. It was a very sad day when it had to come down. Um, but if you, anyone who knows me knows that I go mad for peach and that's one of my favorite colors. So I loved it. And here they are now in New York. And I think this proves just how well that kind of country house style translates across the pond. It just looks perfect. I'd have all of that now. So sweet, the way they've got the little Noah's Ark figures going across like that. We do these lovely little line drawings so that you know where to get each product from or what it is. This is clever because it was primarily, this was a catalogue. So if you needed to order from this catalogue, they've got all of the symbols. So if you turn over, you can see all the prints and then you can look at say this one, which is called Edward and see that you can have it not only in wallpaper, but in fabric too. So you can have that matching for your room. So they were really clever like that because they put together all of these prints in color families. So you didn't have to be sort of a skilled interior designer or have formal training, you could just sort of, you know, know that these two are going to sit together really beautifully and they would be different scales, but look very harmonious. And there was just something for everyone, you know, this dark green, there's this more sort of Victorian palette for sort of um, that classical look. Terracotta. I think they were so good at blues. They were just mar real masters of color. I mean, 
phony, all the tradesmen came to my door looking like that. Wouldn't that be lovely? A little history of chintz, which is lovely. The origins of chintz. Plastic coated fabric with kind of oil cloths. Gorgeous props, the boater and that's just so pretty. More trimmings. That's amazing, just with the paint pouring away like that. That bathroom is incredible. <laughs> And the the electrician with all the dolly swats, um, dolly swatches, swatches, switches. Sorry, so sweet. Lampshades. Oh, wouldn't you love a butler that brought you a Laura Ashley egg cozy, boiled egg and an egg cozy? And I think this is so lovely the way that these prints. I think individually they work. They're obviously individually in their own right. They're lovely, lovely prints, but they all work together. The bed linen, I am. Um, I just wish I'd had some of that bed linen. I can't remember it. I was quite small, and my mother used to bring me, maybe shopping about twice a year in London, and we would always make a beeline um, for the Regent Street store. But I can't really remember the bed linen. I definitely wish I had some now, though. It's so gorgeous. The accessories. This is the print index, and then so they've got all the prints here, and then at the very end, I think this is so sweet. They've got a little sort of ordering form with sort of handwritten writing in there, so that you, if you can't get to store, you could order it in this way. So there we have it. Hope you enjoyed that video and subscribe for more.